What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we had the final review video on Ravel's 1967 Dodge Cornet. And right off the bat, a very awesome kit. Um, no issues, no issues at, at all. The kit went together very well and I'm just really glad how the thing turned out at the end result. So, um, like I mentioned on my final review or final update video on this, this is my last build for 2020, so that's pretty awesome, and I'll explain more what to come on my channel at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get to the final and we'll wrap up this video. So the Dodge Cornet by Ravel, like I said, a good kit, no issues, I had no issues whatsoever. Um, the chassis, interior, and the engine, and the body went all together very well. No fiddlies and no smearing. <laughs> like most kits, you know, some kits you got put the body in and then chassis interior and sometimes it's a little fiddly, but this one was not. Okay, so the body color is two tone. Uh, they're both silvers by Splash Paints. Um, I'm not sure what the color is actually called. I put it back in my drawer, but it's basically a light silver on the bottom and um, a darker silver on the roof. So, because I wanted like a two-tone, like a, you know, the mix, I didn't want all one color. So, we got two-tone silvers, and I think it actually looks very cool. I really got how that turned out. Every single chrome bits and pieces outside. The rear tail light assembly, the bumpers, the um, <laughs> door handles, the winch wipers, and the grill and that stuff, and the wheels has been stripped, and we painted the chrome, the outclad chrome. Looks very good um, because I don't like that toy chrome, I don't like that shiny chrome. So, this chrome is very nice. Black wash the grill, just give it a little black wash and give it leathered. Looks pretty good. The hood has, I did a carbon fiber hood because you know, it's a custom, you know, more modern, not modern, but a custom muscle car. There we go. So, give it, give it a carbon fiber hood. Guy okay, put a little money into it and you know, some different wheels. Just put some wheels into it. Um, the glass went in perfect, the glass actually fits in very good, there's actually side windows too, but I left those out because, you know, I wanted to be like a kind of a showroom, but then again not, because it's kind of scratch up on the bottom of the chassis, so, but I left all windows out, so, side windows, just put the wind, windshield and the back windshield in, it looks very good. Alright, the chassis is not too special, it's just semi-gloss back, and that's pretty much about it, the exhaust, aluminum, so chassis is nothing too special. The interior, the interior is something pretty cool. Um, I have done a black and white interior on this one. Um, I was thinking just doing it on black, but I was like, nope, I'm not going to do this one all dark. <laughs> quote, quote. Um, so I did black and white. Uh, the whole seats and door panels are all white. All door panels have black on the top and bottom, but the middle of the door panels are white and then the front seats and the rear seats are all white the dashboard is all semi-gloss black center console is all semi-gloss black the steering wheel has like a chocolate brown to it by by Flejo so that's pretty cool and I flocked the floor um, like a gray flocking just kind of pick up the black a little bit and give that little extra look to it so it looks very good on uh, the winch the windshield the rear view mirror was chrome. I be shipped it and painted black. Just you know, because I didn't want too much chrome on this one. Um, very cool. Interior is very simplified. Uh, tons of decals for the dashboard, which I really, really do love and appreciate. So that looks very, very cool. Um, that's pretty much about the inside. Um, overall, the outside, inside, and outside looks fantastic. Ooh, you love it. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood open. Stable current fiber looks very, very lovely. Love that. He has a beautiful, one heck of a beautiful um, Hemi engine in there. Did the Hemi orange as always. Uh, believe it or not, I mentioned this on my last video. This is actually my very first Hemi engine I've done in a model. So, that's quite surprising. But I thought it would be kind of difficult to wire it, but it's actually not. It's actually probably the easiest, wire, easiest engines to wire because you don't have to squeeze the wires between the exhaust. So, 
that's pretty cool. So that's one heck of a cool engine. Big engine for this kind of car, and it totally deserves it. Very cool car. Tons of you know heavy steel metal on this thing, so it needs a big engine to push this thing. So I, the engine bay looks fantastic. I can't ask more than that. It looks very good. I just loved how the engine turned out. The filter, it was chrome, but I shipped it, and they were usually black, chrome, or engine color on the real thing. I've seen mostly engine color filters on these Hemis, so I just did it all engine color. So, it looks very cool. Valve covers are mostly black, so obviously shipped the valve covers because they were chrome in this kit, and I shipped them in paint black, some of us black, and that looks fantastic. So, that's pretty much about the whole Build overall, like I mentioned, fantastic. I love the, I love this car. The style looks fantastic. Um, it, fantastic. I just love it. Really, really awesome build. I really enjoyed it, especially to end of a end my year of 2020 of building. So I think it was pretty good. So it was a very cool kit. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, the kit, fantastic. Can't ask much more than that. Very awesome, decent parts count, and I just love it. I uh, love how the paint scheme I turned out with. It looks pretty cool. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna have a side show this in the photo booth, as always. So that will wrap up this video. But like I mentioned, this is my last build for 2020. So very awesome. But I am still have videos coming out of throughout December, so don't go away. I am still coming out with a bunch of new videos. Um, I might do a Christmas video of, I guess surprise Christmas video, so, so stay tuned for that. That might come out next week. Um, I am gonna have a slideshow of all my 2020 builds I had done in 2020, like I always do. I always do the year we end thing of my builds. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have like a new year um, music playing, so that's pretty cool. No, no copyright, obviously. So, I don't like to like copyright straight. But and that's pretty much about it. Every single Monday, like I mentioned, if you saw my community post, every single Monday of this month of December, I am having the Unbox Monday for you guys. So a lot of you guys actually voted over there. So all the kits I have put in the list, or those five kits listed are gonna be unboxed this month. I know there's four Mondays, so one kit will be left out, but whichever kit has most votes will be unboxed this coming Monday, and then second place will be the following Monday, and then you know from there. So stay tuned to the channel. I am done. I am gonna have a bunch of videos coming out before the new year, and we'll kick off the new year with a new build for 2021. Like I mentioned, my best build because I can't finish our model before next year, obviously, because there's only a few weeks left. And you know, it's holiday season, so family time, and um, there's not much time at the bench at this time and moment. So, but that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, like again, stay tuned, sideshow at the, at the end of the video, and go to my other channel, check out the full sideshow of this being built from the ground up, and I'll put that in the link in the description also. But until my next video, guys, see you guys next time. Bye for now.